Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, gracing blessings of the Almighty God be always upon you. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Rosary and the liturgy of the Word invites us to meditate on the Annunciation event. Mary's acceptance of the proposal of Angel Gabriel to cooperate in the plan of salvation stands exactly opposite to Eve's acceptance of the proposal of the tempter to go against the will of God. The acceptance of Mary was not a spontaneous yes, was not a spontaneous I do. The I do of Mary was the climax of the assertive attitude, assertive way of life that she had towards God. The birth of Mary as Immaculate is the wonder of God, is a miracle of God, is a great work that God has done to manifest His glory. But her living and dying Immaculate her being immaculate till that moment and after that moment of annunciation, the credit should be given to our Blessed Virgin Mary because she knowingly, willingly and freely cooperated with the plan of God. She kept herself pure and chaste. She lived all her life as a true daughter of the loving God. The prayer of the rosary which is a weapon against the tempter and the symbol of God's salvific plan should be part of every Christian life. I remember hearing the story once. A woman who was basically an atheist was once a Catholic but she left all her belief in God. But she couldn't leave this one little prayer which says, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She lived a wayward life. This woman really lived a life that was against the will of God. She was now on the deathbed. And then a kind of repentance, a kind of penance and penitence fills her heart. She looks around, they are all priests and nuns and they, she asks for a priest, makes a very good confession, receives the sacrament of anointing and dies. That prayer which clung to her, which she said without knowing its meaning even, stood with her. There are many who would ask me and ask us Catholics, why are there so many Hail Marys and Holy Marys in the Rosary? And why the Lord God is so less, only one Our Father after every ticket, so five Our Fathers. But they don't look at what we meditate along with Blessed Virgin Mary we meditate upon the mysteries of Christ. The whole rosary is about Christ, is about God's plan for us, is about Jesus Christ coming down in obedience and living that plan and the Holy Spirit sanctifying us as a part of that plan. The battle of Lepanto from where this feast comes was a battle between the European nations and uh, the Ottoman Empire, the Turks. And Pope Pius V named the day of victory under the patronage of the Holy Rosary, under the patronage of Blessed Virgin Mary by the prayers of the Holy Rosary as the Lady of Victory. And later the Pope who came after him named this day as the day of Our Lady of Rosary. So dear brothers and sisters, let us look at ourselves and see how much of 
us, how many of us, dear brothers, how many of us are really faithful to our daily rosaries? Family rosary, a family that prays together, stays together. Amen.